Africa's smallest predator, with a 60% killing rate. Looks can kill, but with this cute little thing, you won't even see it coming. Yup, don't go for its size or adorable looks. This teeny tiny wildcat is a feisty death contraption known as the African black-footed cat. It weighs around 200 times less than the average lion, but its kill rate is a deadly 60%. The African black-footed cat is an even smaller version of your typical neighborhood tabby, standing only 8 to 10 inches tall. The speckled cat is undeniably cute, yet underneath its cute facade is a cunning, terrible killer. The black-footed feline, officially known as Felis nigrips, is actually the tiniest cat in Africa. To put that figure in perspective, consider that the black-footed cat weighs 200 times less than the average lion and typically weighs between 2.4 and 4.2 pounds. It's hard to believe that this species of feline is the deadliest in the world, able to kill more animals in a single night than a leopard does in a whole year. Just look at that face. Could you believe it? Sadly. It's classified as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species because it faces a significant risk of extinction in the wild. Currently, only Botswana, Nambia, and South Africa are home to the species. To the shock of most researchers, studies revealed a 60% success rate for the hunts of black-footed cats. In contrast, lions only successfully capture their prey 20-25% to of the time. We don't know who's doing PR for the lions, but come on, this is embarrassing, guys. This black-footed cat kills 10 to 14 rodents or small birds on an average per night, and due to its fast metabolism, it must hunt practically non-stop. Some of us with our chronic midnight snack sessions can relate. These cats use not one, not two, but three different hunting methods to catch their prey. First kind is called fast hunting which involves bounding through tall grass and smoking out birds and rodents. Then there's still hunting, which entails stalking out a rodent's burrow and pouncing when it emerges. And the last kind is a slowed down variation of fast hunting, in which the cat sneaks up on their prey, ninja style. They hunt by walking up to 20 miles per night, and when they strike, they mean business. How can you tell a friendly tabby from this tiny serial killer? Well, their silky dense coat has a strong pattern of rounded dark brown to black patches that occasionally converge to form bands or rings. The color ranges from dark to pale tawny gold, and those unmistakable amber or brownish gray eyes that are huge for their face. Oh, and get this, unlike cats, their skin is pinkish. The backs of their ears are pale brown, while the chin, chest, belly, and inside of the legs are whitish. About half the length of the body, the short tail features two or three black rings that taper to a black tip. These cats have a broad cranium and huge rounded ears as particular adaptions to their desert habitat, which improve hearing in an environment with limited prey. In an aggressive posture, low-set ears are frequently totally flattened as a hunting adaption for environments with limited cover. Yes, they share their sudden, aggressive shift to airplane ears with our house cats. Despite its name, the cat's feet only have black pads and underside. In the southern regions of Africa, coat coloration ranges from reddish fawn to a considerably paler shade further north. With pronounced dark bands on the throat and a black-tipped tail, the chin and throat are white, and that's mainly what sets them apart from an African wildcat. As we said, only three southern African nations, Botswana, Nambia, and South Africa, have these black-footed cats. The Kalahari and the Karoo deserts, as well as short to medium length grass plains, scrub deserts, and sand plains are among their primary habitats. When compared to other southern African cats, the black-footed cat is quite a rare gem. A decades-long investigation on the Benfontein Nature Reserve and two sizable farms in central South Africa has given us the knowledge about the ecology and behavior of this cat. Nothing says tiny but mighty like these creatures. Africa's smallest predator doesn't appear to care if its prey is heavier or larger than himself. In fact, the locals will tell you that these kitty cats can pull down giraffes. They even claim it occasionally attacks goats, going straight for the juggler. They're extraordinarily tenacious little things. So, should we be running for our lives? Stay tuned to find out. Let's give you some numbers to justify their title as the world's deadliest predator. 
About 1,725 animals were devoured by these cats during a study in South Africa, with the males consuming larger prey species. Small birds and mammals were the most often eaten animals. Insects, amphibians, and reptiles, not so much. During the breeding season, small rodents like the large-eared mouse were especially a favorite for females with young kittens to feed. Oh, and in case you think their kittens might be harmless, we've got news for you ahead. Now, this creature shares its ancestry with the African wildcat, cape foxes, bat-eared foxes, and black-backed jackals. So we kind of get the incessant need to kill. Each year, a single little black-footed cat can eat 3,000 prey. This magnificent hunter is primarily nocturnal, although on occasion it emerges from its cave just after dusk and just before dawn. They take naps during the day in termite mounds with hollow interiors among rock tumbles or in burrows created by other species. In fact, its African's name, Mirshuptir, which translates to anthill tiger, comes from this. They leave and return to the cave within 30 minutes of sunset and daybreak, while their nocturnal activity varies with the duration of the night. They're super smart and strategic, with their minds working overtime in the wee hours of the night. Their hunting methods include hanging around rodent tunnels for up to 40 minutes or chasing nesting birds away by moving quickly through the grass. They're great buddies with marsh owls that swoop down on the flushed prey following hunting cats and take their share of the hunt. Just like house cats, climbing trees and fence posts in search of birds' nests is second nature to these little monsters too. But typically, there's less food in the trees where they live than there is on the ground. Cats can jump twice their body size, so it's no surprise that the black-footed cats also jump up to 1.5 meters high and 2 meters in width when attacking flying birds. Those huge, orb-like eyes have a function too. The black-footed cat has vision that's six times better than that of humans. Also, they've got superb night vision and unmatched hearing that can pick up even the slightest of sounds. Now, black-footed cats have a very loud meow that can be heard far, far away. Given that males and females in the wild typically roam far apart, it's believed that this sound is effective in luring them together for mating. Oh, and just like any other kitty cat, they purr, growl, and hiss too. You know how people who don't like cats warn cat lovers that their furry friend would eat them one day? Yeah, that doesn't phase any of us. But wait, what about this particular death machine? Are we on the menu of these vicious cuties? When someone asks who's the most dangerous cat in the world, you'd probably not even think of these. The animals that come to mind are lions, tigers, leopards, and cheetahs because of their outstanding hunting abilities and magnificent physiques. But if we take a closer look at the success rate for hunting, the black-footed cat comes in first. Now, those big cats have been known to enjoy a bite or two of us, but don't worry, these little critters don't intend to eat people. Some of their favorite meals include cape hare, which, believe it or not, is the same size as them. Also, black-footed cats have been seen consuming eggs by breaking them between their jaws and licking the insides clean. Mice, birds, and rabbits are among the prey that the black-footed cat goes for, and thanks to its shyness, they hunt almost exclusively at night, so you might never run into them either. Now, coming to their kittens, they grow up quickly. One study found that even a five-week-old kitten was capable of killing and devouring a live mouse that its mother had brought for it. The brief adult mating season and the young cat's quick growth make the cats less likely targets for attacks by larger animals. Thing is, if we want to see more of these wonderful little creatures, we need to bring more attention to highlight the animal's population situation. The destruction and degradation of habitat by humans is one of the factors contributing to the fragility of the black-footed cat's population. Just look at that face. Do you want to see more of it? Its prey? Would disagree.